There is nothing more disappointing than witnessing wasted potential and opportunity unfold in front of your eyes. There is no clear example than this, than the Kenya Morans team being, gov- being uh, governed by the Kenya Basketball Federation and also the Ministry of Sports. They have single-handedly managed to embarrass Kenya once again in front of the whole world with the full glare of the whole international basketball comu- community in the biggest stage, in a FIBA stage, in the FIBA World Cup. And first of all, I just want to apologize for the horrendous game, game set of games in the first window that Kenya participated in, in the second window that they participated in, where they were they considered the most points ever in a FIBA window. That was the first window, and also in the second one for them, missing a game, missing a game because of travel, traveling. They couldn't even get the federation, the Ministry of Sports, and the Federation just you know uh, botched that. They missed their first game against Congo DR, and they went and ge- went ahead to play the next game against um, Egypt, where they got blown out. And Senegal as well, they got blown out. And uh, right now, Ke- as we stand, Kenyan basketball is uh, the Ke- Kenyan the Kenyan national basketball men's team is out and will be headed home. And I'll be watching the FIBA World Cup qualifiers, the FIBA World Cup qualifiers in the second round, the second one which is going to be held late in August at home. And we are not going to be there. And all this, all this, um, this whole story where um, the the federation and the ministry of sports are not willing to invest i'm not even saying they should even go ahead of uh, out of their own like, way to even put in money but i'm saying they should show an interest in trying to improve the quality getting people who actually want to run a federation run a federation or even what people who want to run a sports team or even getting the training and coaching staff necessary for the for this game to but for this team to be able to be at that level where uh, teams like Angola, South Sudan, especially South Sudan, who went on to go unbeaten. And I dare say South Sudan is what Kenya should have been in, in moving forward in the future. Because right now, as we stand, the future just looks so bleak. 0 for 6, 0 win percentage. We consider the most points uh, Per, per game than any other FIBA side. I know teams like Rwanda looked bad, but Kenya looked horrendous. Both in the first and second window, we are, we never we have not even won a single game. We act so Ken, the Kenya national men's team acted so arrogant when they beat Angola by one point, and uh, they got beat back to reality in the Afro basket by South Sudan, who they talked a lot of trash, especially in the pre qualifiers. South Sudan avenged them and they have moved past us. Countries we we are nowhere near close to countries like South Sudan, Rwanda, Uganda, Tanzania. We are closer to countries like Somalia, Burundi, Eritrea. Those are the kind of countries that we are close to. We are not even the kings of East Africa. We will never be we'll never be able to claim that title because of how horrendous we have been playing. And I dare say we have lost a lot of respect. And uh I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Kenyan. I support Kenyan basketball, but this has to stop. I mean, this is what we saw here. What we witnessed here is a result of total mismanagement or even lack thereof. We have seen a team being sent only eight guys, eight people in a FIBA in a FIBA tournament which they it's being it's being broadcasted to the whole world where we, the whole world saw how mismanaged, how disorganized, how incompetent we looked. Could, I mean, it, it, it was just such a bad look for the country. And this has scared away so many people. Nobody will want even to even invest in basketball in Kenya because of how horrendous we looked. The whole point that I want to say is this. I'm not lamenting or anything. I'm just going on. A, I'm just going on my thoughts the way i'm looking at it i'm not even going on the script i'm going off the script because at this point i've said a lot of i needed to say i have 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 held my tongue too long especially uh, when i talk about this kenya Marans team but this this is this is just upsetting it's sad in all levels and 
there's no way there's no, there's no way we can explain failing we can explain this failure because you can see countries who have gone against all odds to make it to the event and they have been able to do great things a good example is south sudan why is it that we are not able to we are not able to move and move the needle and move past them yet we had a head start we were way ahead of countries like uganda south sudan rwanda we are way ahead of them but as the other nations other countries keep investing on their sport we keep we keep digressing and we keep regressing to oblivion because this is so sad we are getting players who you might think that they know how to play well but they have when you look at the star sheet and you look at the film they look like players who don't even know what to do especially on the court they look like they are written they are, you you'll see that they are listed as pro players but given the way they are played is it's just horrendous you can see even the ministry of sports detaching themselves from the national team saying they don't have any funds to facilitate then you have a guy like Fidel Okoth coming in a post game interview which is seen by the whole world and slamming the federation and slamming the ministry of sports saying that a player shouldn't even think about their air ticket the players who are supposed to go there was there was a list, list that was sent the team you need a good team a quality team the list was not followed because you could see a situation where the the federation didn't even have the funds to even allocate which is which is something that was surprising and also the ministry of sports you know pulling the plug on the team yet there's a basketball team that is going to a three on three basketball team that's going to go to the commonwealth games in birmingham there's money allocated to that but there's no money allocated to the national team going to cairo egypt alexandria to be specific there is no money allocated to that so this goes to show you the level of you know uh, incompetence and uh, from the board and the managers you have about you had about 5 months to prepare for this tournament and if we go ahead to not even qualify to the next we, we expect all of these guys to just you know just pack up and leave all of them the board needs to go starting from the top this has got to stop now because you're finding people who and we are finding a situation where we are putting people people have been put there and they do absolutely nothing absolutely nothing to ensure that this sport is moving to the right direction you're seeing a situation where people are not even preparing for these tournaments you're seeing lack of preparation you're citing lack of preparation i saw a video going around there that we have made it against all odds this is the 21st century we are presenting ourselves as a poor country yet we are a very wealthy country a country that has a federation and a ministry that cannot even afford the airfare for people who are representing their own country and we can't even and nobody isn't even saying anything about it and to all these journalists all these punchers who interview these guys and get the exclusive why is it that they are not asking the tough questions like what are you guys doing in training camp why is it that these guys can't be able to shoot at least 30% from their field that's below average at least 40 percent from the field they can't even shoot why is it that your best players are where your best point guard your kenyan point guard isn't able to show up at the biggest stage very talented zero output in the game you find big men very talented big men zero output I actually put talent in quotes because i'm not sure the metric that i'm using you can use even to show their talent because when you see them play for others uh, for their clubs and other nations they play well but then you bring them here in the FIBA World Cup to represent the national team, they play horrendous basketball that is not even comprehend. You can't even understand where this basketball comes from. You can see people not even getting back on D. You're letting unnecessary threes. You can't even take care of the basketball. Turnovers left, right, and center. You can't even take care of the basketball for even one possession. We're not even asking you, shoot one shot, be accurate with it, short selections something that this should be ha they should have mastered right now because they are listed as pro players yet right now you're seeing a situation where these people even the bare minimum even doing something that even going back on defense they can't even do look at kenya versus congo dr they tried in the first game in the in the window you could see they tried 10 points 
but they were outlasted by Congo DR. They didn't play consistently in the second half. They blew that game in Kenya versus Egypt. It was unacceptable. How can you concede 54 points in a single game? The Egyptian side outscored the entire team and no journalists, no punchers are not challenging even the players. They're not challenging the coaching staff. If you're saying that the players are letting you down, if a player is letting you down, what do you do? You drop the player and get new ta get a new player in there. This over-reliance on these pro players and thinking that they can change anything, they can't. It's got to stop now. Some players in that roster have stayed in there for too long, okay? They have made good players in, in, in our home soil pass us by. And what you'll see the coaching staff saying, oh, we've had good spirits, or oh, we have done this, uh, we are happy, they give, they give it their best. Is giving your best going getting a walkover in one in in the first game or the second you know and losing all the other five games on the on the court i mean this is just unacceptable kenya versus senegal you got beat by 45 points congo dr versus kenya walk it was a walkover game because we couldn't even get airfare to get even their players in there kenya versus egypt got blown out again 72 39 egypt uh egypt did it again I mean, Senegal versus Kenya, 86-54. What are we doing as a nation? What are we doing as a country? Then we are asked to support the players. How can you support the players and you're not even keeping the public in the loop hours before even they left the country? They left the country silently. You don't even know. The, the Ministry of Sports says they don't have money. The Federation says they don't have the money to finance. FIBA stepped in to cater for that. Where did they get the funding to be able to get there? And... Why is it that they are not even reporting when they lose, lose a game? When you write something that they needed to change, you even ask them to change something a bit. They can't even do it. You have players in there. Great, you say that they are good players, they are pro players, but I'm yet to see any pro play on the court. I'm yet to see any turnovers. You're seeing a guy getting fouls, getting fouled left, right and center. Can't even get back on defense. Can't even stop a transition point. Can't even get a bucket. Can't even doesn't even know anything about short selection. Then you expect these guys to be able to even will this team to any success. Then you ask us why we get irate. Why, well, then you ask someone like me why I get irate, and you say that oh this guy is just a critic. We are looking at the situation the way it is. We are shitty. We need to change. And this is this is something that has to yeah uh, it change has to come. There is no way. We, are, we just know how to qualify. You can just say that qualifying and just getting there is a good thing. But it's not. What, what is the point of qualifying if you're going to lose all the games? Why is, it, why, is the, why is qualifying made the priority when you can't even win a single game even against a top side like Egypt? We can't even make, win, a top, win against Senegal. Senegal has been owning real estate in Kenya for years. In four professional contests, four FIBA contests, two times in the FIBA Afro Basket qualifiers, two times in the World Cup qualifiers, we are yet to beat Senegal. And every time we match up against Senegal, we lose. Every time we lose against them. We, we, we saw what we needed to do. You should have seen what you needed to do at that time. Why is that you couldn't make the changes? Why is chemistry an issue when you have a whole like five months to prepare for it why can't you call the players and even ask their clubs to request them to come and play and practice with the team to foster chemistry why is it that these people say that they they they're struggling with chemistry yet they just meet like there on the court in the first window guys flew in a day before the tournament hours before the tournament turned up then you you cite chemistry you cite fitness people who are serious with this you are this serious with this tournament prepare for them kenya well well kenya we just think of oh let's just let's just take this guy over here let's just take this 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 take this guy over there plug them all together let's see how they can work and my 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 thing is if we are going to start a rebuild all the top to bottom the whole board needs to go the whole coaching staff needs to go the team manager needs to go. Everyone needs to go and you start afresh. I would even I would even suggest we should even participate in any FIBA tournament for even the next four years. Because why is it why should we make a point of qualifying 
if we're just going to go there and embarrass ourselves why what's the need why is it that you're putting players together who have zero chemistry you might think they they just know each other but on off the court but on the court they don't know each other you're just taking a player from any part every part of the car the part of the world plugging them in the team expecting them to work it doesn't work like that it'll never work like that it only works in nba 2k but in, re- in the real world it doesn't work like that you just can't plug players then you just then you just plug an- another coach you then coach cliff wasn't even around coach guy you don't even know who made coach guy the coach the head coach i don't know who made him the head coach and stepping up the position okay there was a great addition adding ken washira which was necessary but they should rebuild around ken washira this the other other guys should go all of them should go we don't need we don't need the other guys because we'll still get the same result if we have the same thing some players there have stage mentions earlier too long and they've made good pl- players pass us by and why is it that even the head coach is not even asked by even the journalists who go and get the exclusives with them they i just said said this thing earlier why are they, they challenging them do you th- they should ask the question do you think other nations have surpassed you now that's the that's the end all be all i, I all it's 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 got to stop now I'm, i've had enough this i've had enough with, i'll i've had enough I love my country but the way these guys are playing is just putting off everyone who wants to support them no investor is going to support a team that even can't even win a single game even at least one game those trips are expensive then you expect a sponsor to just come out of nowhere to fund facilitate you and you can't even produce on the court it's got to stop now even the whole structure of the whole federation the whole ministry of sports the arm that deals with sports need to go and also the players they should go and we just rebuild even if it's going to take us the next four years to do it we need we need a fresh change and, and change everything so that's all i have to say man because this is just too embarrassing i watched these games live on courtside and bro it was just to def- i just to, i just exited i just exit the game when it's in the second half because the lead is already like 25 points plus Kenya has no side of even making a comeback. You can try to argue the fact that they can they play hard but they don't play hard. They don't even do anything. So what's the point of even watching that game? Just leave it leave it at that. I mean it's, it's the most embarrassing thing. We have embarrassed ourselves before the whole world and uh, it's funny. But ask yourself this question. Kenyans anyone the guys who are watching this because you're here so I'm assuming that you just want to hear my opinion. Do you think the players who play in that roster are embarrassed by our performance that's a question that you need to think about they're not they're not embarrassed as long as i need they just want to you know show up play the game finish just go home that's the only thing that they think about and they don't even understand what they're doing this is there's no there's no desire there's no passion there's no showing fight in even making basketball great coming from the federation the ministry of sports the players themselves the whole governing body governing the sport of basketball there is no passion drive desire in even in making improvements and changes and this is putting off a lot of people in supporting you people and you have lost the support you have lost support from even the casuals because you can't go out there and embarrass people i mean that's all i got to say man i mean and also just to reiterate these guys are not the representation of the best basketball players in kenya that's all i have to say they are not i mean i'll excuse i'll excuse the new entrant cannot share from that because you know he is the reigning finals mvp but they all the old guys man i'm sorry man you embarrassed us there's there's no there's no there's no recovering from this it's just embarrassing i'm out man i'm out we'll see you in the next upload guys see you next